Welcome back, ladies. Now let's give a proper stand up welcome mm -hmm. to the author, Shannon Kaliri. Let's Woo! hear it for her. Where's she at? Hello, Mama. Come on in. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to be here. You're cozy. Thanks for having me. Thank yes. you. You look okay. wonderful. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. So I have hey. your book. Yes. She dated the asshats but married the good guy. Yes. So define asshat. Please. An asshat. <laughs> okay. I always say that we're born with 10 jets. Like we have a lot of jets and we like to go, go, go and accomplish mm -hmm. and have a great life. I feel like an asshat is someone who drains your jets. Yeah. He's someone that just like suddenly you've only got nine, then you've only got eight. And your life becomes smaller and smaller as you focus on this sort of chaotic, impossible relationship. Yep. He's the center of everything Girl, and you there. just circle. Been there, mm -hmm. done that. Yeah. That's an asshat for you. Can women be asshats? Absolutely. In fact, there's a man out there, probably if he's watching now, he's like, uh, hello, you were such an asshat to <laughs> I mean, I think it's you're like the hat. same coin. Yeah. It's the same yeah. coin and you're on either side. Yes. Right. You know? Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, definitely. So so tell me more about what led you to this revolution. Like you saw the asshat. Well, moved on to the good guy. Yeah. I did. Well, it only took me 10 years. <laughs> Two long-term relationships yeah. for five years each with men I couldn't trust. They were inconsistent, unfaithful. Yep. I think what happens with women a lot of times, we start pushing up on 30. Mm -hmm. And for those of us who want to have a family, mm -hmm. we got to get real. Mm -hmm. We got to get serious. Mm -hmm. And I think 30 came knocking and I was like, man, I am not where I want to be. Time to figure out why it is I keep choosing the same toxic guy just in a different body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's Habits. help girls detect the yes, asshat because yes. there are red flags that shows up. Absolutely. Right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so um, he comes in strong. And yes. then cools off. I always call this guy Mr. Need for Speed. This is the guy that sees you across a crowded room, makes a beeline for you, and mm -hmm. is like, you're the most gorgeous woman in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What's your phone number? I got to see you. Want to come home with me tonight? And you're sort of, you're so yeah. flattered. And yeah. usually they tend to Who be. Who doesn't like that? Right. Yeah, I no. mean, you know, if they're charismatic and nice looking, mm -hmm. yeah. you're, you're, like, you're, in. Nice you're like on the hook, right? Yeah. And so the problem is a guy like this is actually even convincing himself that uh -huh. you might be the woman that will change him. You might be the woman he'll fall in love with. And we all and know we that. All know. Right? That does not happen. Yes. You yes. cannot you change cannot... a man. Women yes. out there, don't. You can't don't do it. For it. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. So I asked. I was. We were yes. talking about this earlier. I, you know, I was really wondering, is what happens when an ass hat changes mm. to the good guy? Does he? Does uh, he? In my experience, that has not happened. Oh um, no! You know what happens? Mine is, too, girl. Right. I exactly. That if you finally it's get true. the strength to break up, mm -hmm. they feel the energy shift away, and mm -hmm. suddenly their fear of engulfment, their mm -hmm. fear of commitment goes away because you're running. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they run after you, mm -hmm. and then they get you, and it starts. It all over. starts yeah. over again. It's yeah. a dance. We call it the dance of death. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've learned this. I've right. learned this through my life experiences. It's not the Macarena. Men don't change for you. They change yes. for themselves. Exactly. And women you know too, though. And yeah. women yeah. as well. At least. They yeah. should change women for themselves. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, so Crazy. the good guy. Tell me a little bit about the good guy. How do we find good yeah, guys? Yeah, we find good guy. guy. Well, it depends on what you're looking for. I say mm -hmm. always know what you want before you go dating. Because we often go yeah. date unconsciously. We just want the hot guy that we're yep. attracted to. Like, mm -hmm. my vagina in my 20s would walk into a bar and be like, that guy's that from Rikers. <laughs> he just got out of prison. He's that's the one I want. That's the guy. And I was like, stop choosing. Don't let no. the vagina no, stop. Not today. stop it. No. That's ridiculous. So, so to speak. Well, there's uh, anyway. Yeah. We're in there, but um Anyway, the point is, you know, get clear on what you want. Because for me, right. my good guy, we were friendly acquaintances for several years. And I just thought, man, this kid, this guy is so conscientious. You know, he he's a, a big screenwriter and he was traveling all the time. But he was teaching a class mm -hmm. at UCLA that I happened to be taking. And I know it sounds tawdry, but it wasn't. Good. I did get a good grade. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> But he would fly back on his own dime to teach the class. I'm oh, like, wow. boy, that's a There's commitment. Something, that's something awesome. in there. Yeah, yes. Awesome. So second red flag, he's oh. not reliable. In unreliability and inconsistency means if he can't show up on time for a date or pick you up when he's supposed to or call when he's supposed to, how mm -hmm. is he ever going to help you raise kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not going to happen. So mm -hmm. you got to look out for that guy. Mm -hmm. He's very, he's torn. He doesn't know what he wants or who he is. So okay. he, that's why he's inconsistent and hung mm -hmm. cold. Um, third red flag. Yes, okay. unreliability. What third. do we got for third red flag? Oh, could it be mm. Mr. You Suck? There huh. is a Mr. You Suck, and mm. he's the guy 
that criticizes. Oh, oh. That, he constantly it. uses the C word. Yeah, yeah that's the big C word. Mm -hmm. And it's, first of all, it's little criticisms yeah. like, I don't know if I like you in those pants, or do you need to eat that piece of bread, or little yeah. things, right? But then pretty soon it's, well, you're being too needy, or you're too, mm. being too neurotic when mm. they're acting sketchy. Yeah. So yeah. look out for a guy that criticizes. When I was reading your book, there was a, there was a story that you tell about mm. a guy who always criticized the girl about her cellulite. That would have been, wow. yes, what I would admit mm. that that was me, okay? He, what? we're sitting on my bed, he pinches my thighs. No, no, no. I weighed 115 pounds in college, and a few little dimples showed up, I didn't know what they were, and he's like, it's cellulite. And then he wondered why we never had good sex. Oh my God, Because he was what? always monitoring my body during sex. So that watch out for a guy. Insane. It's wow. Crazy. I just got insane. I just got mad. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm angry. I'm that guy. Fourth angry. red flag, last red flag. Yes. Quick, quick. What oh, is it? Mr. KGB agent. You are not Right? He's like a spy. You can't go near his computer, his yes. phone. Yeah. Otherwise, he might have to kill you. Yeah. So if he's yeah. acting like he's got secrets and he doesn't work ding, for ding, the, ding, you know, ding, CIA, ding. look Guys. out for that. <laughs>